What's going on everyone, Matesh here, and today I have a review for you guys of another pair of truly wireless earbuds. Now, the thing about these is these are only $25, whereas previously, I told you guys not to buy the Jaybird Bronze because they weren't good enough, and those were $180. So, when I saw these on Amazon for just $25, I only had one question, do they suck? And today, I'm gonna answer that question for you guys, so let's get started. All right, so the headphones in question are these right here. These are the MJ Yoon M1 True Wireless Earbuds. And inside the box, we get the earbuds themselves inside their charging case. And then let me just slip this off. And then, yep, there are the earbuds right there. And like I said, the charging case. And inside we get a USB-A to USB-C cable, a pair of, another pair of ear tips, a quick start guide, and a user manual and that's it so for being 25 dollars headphones these things actually get surprising amount of things right so the first one is the fact that they always stay connected so they stay connected to each other so there's never any desynchronization between the two and they always stay connected to my phone so i was really pleasantly surprised as to how well truly wireless earbuds can work even at this price point so Definitely kudos on them for that. Another thing that they did that I think more manufacturers need to do is the fact that they put in a USB Type-C plug. Guys, it's 2018. I'm tired of having micro USB cables around, so go ahead, switch over to USB-C. I mean, if a $25 pair of headphones can do it, you guys can do it too. So yeah, USB-C, it's the future, it's here, do it now. Another thing that they get surprisingly right is the sound quality. So the sound quality is actually pretty good, at least to my ears, and I'm by no means an audiophile, but the highs and the mids definitely sound like they're there. The low end is definitely not, but that's kind of what I expect with small earbuds like these. I just don't expect that much low end when you have tiny earbuds. Now the sound quality may be good, but the sound volume definitely isn't. So. For me, I personally listen to music and podcasts pretty quietly. I normally do it at the office and I gotta be able to hear everything else that's going on. So I listen in like the first 30% of the volume range for most normal headphones. But these, I have to go up to like 70% before they sound about the same. So if you're someone who likes to listen to music relatively loudly, you may not be happy with these because they are surprisingly quiet. I don't know why these are so quiet. Most headphones that I have are honestly too loud. I don't need to listen to music that loudly, but for these, these are too quiet in my opinion. I don't know why there's no good middle, but yeah, so volume out of this is surprisingly low. Okay, so I guess this is the part of the video where I start going to the bad things that these things don't do well, and there are quite a few. So the first one is the fact that they don't have my favorite part of Truly Wireless earbuds, and it's the fact that when I open these up, they don't turn on automatically. So they don't turn on automatically and they're not syncing up right away. Seriously, this is like the best feature of Truly Wireless Earbuds in my opinion. It's the fact that you can just open a case and then they just turn on, start syncing, so by the time you put them in your ears, they're already synced up and these don't have it. Now you can put them back and then they will turn off automatically, but I mean, like, why couldn't they just turn on automatically? This is like the one part of Truly Wireless Earbuds that's really good that pretty much everyone else is doing right. So. MJ Yoon, you gotta get on board with this. You gotta get this fixed. And then of course, there's the fact that video and audio don't sync up. This is the same exact problem I have with the Jaybirds, Jaybird Runs, and these have it worse than those did. So these actually get out of sync, and then they'll just keep getting further and further out of sync, and then they go, you pause, it'll get back in sync, and yeah, it's just a whole thing. Video and audio on truly wireless earbuds, it's just its just hard to do from what I've learned. The only company that's done it right is Apple with their AirPods, and I'm assuming that's thanks to the W1 chip, and the fact that they use Bluetooth 5.0 versus 4.0. And then some of the other things they don't do well is the fact that you get no battery indication. So the battery on this, they claim that it'll last for eight hours with the case, so that's not a lot of time. So I think that the headphones, I think they get like two to three hours of listening time at a time and I've actually ran them down and that's never happened to me with any of the other ones because normally I get tired of listening to it for that long and for these I've actually had them in my ears to the point where they start telling me that they have low battery so yeah I've never had that happen before but yeah the battery on this is not great and there is no indication for battery so you will have no idea how much batteries in the case 
or in the earbuds. Another problem I have with these is the fact that they're not the most comfortable. They come with two pairs of ear tips and honestly I couldn't tell the difference between the two pairs of ear tips except for that one's clear and one's black. They don't feel any different, they don't stick in your ears any different, and they're not good. So, at least for my ears, they weren't good. And yeah, I just never found these comfortable. They did stay in my ears though, so if you're looking to use these for running, and you can definitely do that. These will stay in your ears just fine, but they're not the most comfortable. So like about after about an hour, I need to take them out of my ears just to give my ears a little bit of a break. So definitely in terms of comfort, these are not good. So yeah, to answer the question of whether they suck or not, the answer is, yeah, they kind of suck. They do a surprising number of things right, but I just don't think I could recommend them for anyone. Um, the only person I think I could recommend them for is if you're someone who's only planning on using them to work out. If you're only planning on using them to work out, I think these would be actually okay. If you're just going to listen to something, not watch video while you're working out, if you're just going to listen to music, podcast, any other type of audio, they're actually not that bad for it. So yeah, if you guys just want a dedicated pair of workout earbuds that are truly wireless, because yeah, not having that wire between the two headphones is really nice. So yeah, if you guys are looking for that, yeah, you can consider these, but I think for most other people, I would continue looking for something else. All right, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.